Welcome to the Coffee Club, broadcasting live from New York with your host, Felix, and co host, Dr. Mark. So let's have a cup of coffee and enjoy the show. There is no heaven, there is no hell, there is only this world and its dark reflection. And we do not know in which of the two worlds we are. We are live. We are here. We're from New York. We are the rebellious Rev and the Doc. We are in in the here and now. I'm the Rev. I'm the Doc. And we're here tonight to uh, discuss. The disgust. To dissect. Discuss the disgust. To discuss, be disgusted, and and dissect everything that's been going on in this last week during the Republican and the Democratic Party. You know, we we forgot in the blur. I forgot in the blurb when I wrote it up that the uh, Democratic Party is pretty much in disarray themselves. Oh right sure, now. well they got to get rid of you know they you know they were showing they're all in the seventy but all the leaders are all in the seventies over seventy and you know they they showed that on. Uh, on the news yesterday, they showed uh, the age of uh, the Democratic leaders. You know, Schumer is... 72. Is he, is he over 70? Yeah, I believe uh, so. What's his face? Uh, Sanders is 74. Hillary is 68. You know... Uh, uh, how about the, and Nancy? Oh, Nancy is like also 74, 72. Yeah. And in the Republican Party, they're all in their 50s, which yep. is considered young. Yep. And they've got them right now. The Republicans seem to be a little bit more together than the... Uh, it's very true. It's know, very true. I mean, uh, we, we may have a lot to say about uh, the names that are floating around, you know, but uh, Trump... Trump likes is, to tell everybody, look, as long as I know who the people are. <laughs> you listen, know? Well, he's ahead of schedule. Well, Not as far a, as Secretary of State, definitely. As far as all of them. I yeah. mean, Obama didn't pick anybody for six weeks. Uh, mostly nobody ever gets yeah, anybody. Hey, look. I you mean, don't, it's a fact. Yeah, but look, you don't... None of the you presidents know. in the past, since we, uh, in the past, have selected anybody at least for two or three weeks. The first person. Yeah, but I've never seen you to say anything positive about Obama anyway. Okay, don't forget. I'm not forget. talking about Obama. I'm talking about in the past, all of them, Bush, all of them, none of them have selected. But they never had to wait as long as Obama as far as getting, uh, even getting a vote on names that he proposes, uh, that he proposed. They do not even ago. propose anybody for at least six weeks most of the time, five to six weeks. Well. It's been on every show, ABC, CBS, CNN, Fox. It's a fact. Even the, well, I don't know. I listen to Breitbart. Even Axelrod, <laughs> David Axelrod. Yes, said, I know, I know. What I he know. says, what are you guys bothering for? Nobody else has done it this early. Well, Trump, one, one, you know, as a successful business person, I assume that he wants to be and get ahead of these things, Okay. So he has in his mind who he wants, so he floats names out there, and it keeps the press guessing and thinking and writing and talking, okay? Uh, He knows who he wants in those positions. Well, you don't know if they're going to accept it. You don't know who's going to accept it and who's not. Chief of Staff doesn't need any approval, okay? Bannon, and I don't know exactly what his title is, but he doesn't need any approval. Bannon is the... Some security advisor or no, something. No, not security. He's like chief, uh, he's like the chief of staff, basically. Strategy right. or something, but yeah. It doesn't matter. He's like... Yeah, the you're right. He's like equal with Priebus, okay, basically. Yeah, so you got the two of them, and then he just started floating. No, he picked General Flynn. 
Flynn Sessions and uh, a lot of names for uh, no, no, he picked Secretary them. No, no, no. of State. F- Flynn said he picked the CIA director already. I forgot the guy's name. George uh, Pompeo. 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 Okay. So right, because that doesn't. Uh, yeah, but uh, he's going to have a problem getting approval of Sessions. <laughs> Okay, I then, mean, uh, yeah. Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. Well, they don't think he will because the, most of the people uh, that have to approve it is uh, by how much is it has to be by a majority, right? Well, they said basically Sessions doesn't care whether he's uh, approved 52-48, which would be the 46 Democrats and the two independents voting against them. And the 52 Republican senators voting for him. So he gets it's, it it's either just, way. Well, it's just He's going to ma- get it. It's just a matter of will any of the Republicans defect and say no. Now, no. Don't well, forget, they've been talking about 1986, even though it was 30 years ago. 30 years ago. You know, well, but just, still. People change. Well, that's what they're hoping for. People change. That's what they're hoping for. And they're now, hoping that people will look at it and say, well, and, he's had a lot of time to change. And what do you know about John Bannon? What's his name? Not Bannon. What's his first name? Bannon. Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon. What about him? What do you know about him? Only what I've read, and okay. none of it is positive. Okay, first thing is, our phone number is five, four. Oh, got to get the right uh, area code. 646-595-3275. That's if you're listening to us on Blog Talk Radio or Spreaker. If you're listening to us on Talk Show, Yes, I said talk shoe. The phone number on talk shoe is 724-444-7444. And you have to put in an ID for this call, for this call which is 135 135- 705. You got to be kidding me. You think people are going to remember all those numbers? It's written down when they log in. Well, if they're logged into talk show, they know what they're doing. If they're not logged into talk show, they're not going to call to talk show. Ask, so it doesn't matter. You know, ask people if they know what their social security number is, and they don't know that. It doesn't matter. This is right. If, you, if you're calling a talk show, okay. it's right in front of you. All right. All right. And it tells you what to do. Since we're, it doesn't matter to us because we're really, if somebody calls in, we won't tell the difference what they're calling in on. Actually, no, the phone just rings. Yeah, and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, time to put on the chat room, I guess. Gee, there are so many ways to get in touch with us. We're gonna be uh, overwhelmed with uh, with comments. Yes, <laughs> chat room is opening up now in Blog Talk Radio. We're opening up on Spreaker. Where is Spreaker? Oh, Check chat for room. our smoke signals in the cloud. Hmm. Where is that? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're open now on Spreaker, and our chat room is open on Talk Shoe. So pick up your shoe and talk to us. And just uh, like they didn't get smart. That's it. See, that's my uh, that's my uh, phone right there. Not exactly a shoe, but c- close to it. Anyway, let's see. So, uh, Steve Bannon, racist. Well, he has said things that are rather questionable. He's uh, he's said things about women that sort of mimic what uh, Trump said. Even though I would assume, I I don't know. You know, people are saying now that Trump said those things basically just to get a rise out of people. Okay, I don't know. Okay, now, let me give you a little bit of uh, the ambassador of Israel. Israel was... uh, What? The ambassador of Israel was questioned about the picks that Trump has picked up so far. And he said he's very happy about all of them, especially for Steve Bannon. He's a very big supporter of Israel. Do you know his, on this, uh... Steve Bannon? Yes. Very big. Oh, wait. Yeah, and they interviewed, they interviewed a rabbi who works with Steve Bannon, 
to, to they've been working together for four years, and he says he's like the most you know the nicest guy in the world when it comes to other races and stuff. And he says he would support him, and he was there with his party and with his you know was a Hasidic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. that might be Rabbi Schneerson for all I know. He's the one. He said that Trump and his whole team are definitely not anti-Semitic. Well, Trump is definitely not. Trump is a big supporter of Israel. Always has been. You got most of the Republicans are. That's always been a fact. The Democrats have been always swaying away from uh, because they want to make sure that. uh, Everything's done equally, and you know, whatever. It just does. It seems know, like the Republicans are always more pro-Israel. One of the things that I do remember them saying, you know, the the, the reporters, the journalists, is that Trump doesn't like when somebody comes to him and starts telling him all of their accolades and all of their. Uh, positives if they're applying for a position he likes to discover these things on his own you know and that's the case Rudy Giuliani doesn't stand a chance because if you listen to the things that Rudy Giuliani has said because we all know he wants to be Secretary of State well they said he's not going to get it probably well I know that but the thing is he says I've been to over 80 countries. Yeah, well, first thing is, well, Giuliani is going to get a position because he was one of the most loyal people that Trump had. Yeah, well, and Trump supports the loyal people. Yeah, but so was Christie, and Christie, Christie is on the blacklist because of Trump's son-in-law, Kushner, because Christie sent Kushner's father to jail. Two years, but that's not the reason. That's what they're saying on the news. You got to listen to what happened. Oh, okay. What, what it, happened? Why, why the, what kind of people did Christie brought, brought, bring in? All, all lobbyists. And Trump said, I'm not taking any lobbyists. They all got to go. Well, I wouldn't know this. I didn't know. Yep, he brought in all lobbyists. Well, yeah, and he's keeping his pledge of no lobbyists. No. Lobbyists. Well, beside the fact that Christie has his hands full with the Bridgegate thing. So, yeah, well, that's uh, the, that was the whole thing. And uh, Christie said it the other day. He goes, I have to finish my two years and fix my name and all that. His name, you know, he looks at his name is tarnished very badly. Yeah. Right now. I mean, in reality, he probably couldn't be with the Trump team right now anyway. Well, like you say, you know, what... What are these people bringing to the table? We know what Priebus brings to the table. We know what Bannon brings to the table. Okay. What does Brandon, uh, Bannon bring to the table? Well, Bannon, according to you, has a lot of connections. Yeah, well, like I said, the Israel government likes him. He's very pro-Israel. But that's a, you know. But he has, you know, he does have a lot. He's, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's uh, a Harvard graduate. He's had a lot of good. Yeah, some big jobs before doing He went this. to the military academy, either either West Point or Annapolis. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, Depends a, whether he was in the Army or the Navy. He was an officer. You well, know. I, yeah, I said that. But And, uh, yes, and uh, he's had some high positions on Wall Street. I think with Goldman Sachs, he was a CEO. Yeah, he was a member of the board. So he, he's been around. And now he's the CEO of this uh, Breitbart and all right, let's let's talk about something else then. We all know that there's a law on the books about nepotism and relatives. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, An in-law is not considered a. Uh, oh no, no, they are. Oh, Except, no. I read they they showed it on TV. I read the law. Mm-hmm. All right, and, and they said step relatives and and. Uh, in-laws, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Now, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hillary what? Clinton was in charge of the health initiative for the government. That had nothing to do because that was not a government appointment because that was a separate committee, separate from health, education, and welfare. It said They just said it on the news before I came over here. That's how she got around that. Okay, mm-hmm. 
And uh, you're talking about people. He has his family.